Hey, what's up guys? Steve here, and today we're going to take a look at the 30 highest selling 1990s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on May 7th. And we get a classic Junk Wax era card to kick things off at number 30 with this 1990 score Bo Jackson, card number 697. This was a BGS 9 and it sold for $48 even. This price is up from the only other BGS 9 comp of this card I found from 2023. A BGS Gold Label 10 of this card has not hit the market since October of 2019, where the last one sold for just short of $1,200 on eBay. Up next at number 29 is this 1994 Flair Alex Rodriguez Rookie, card number 340. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $49.20. This price is right in line with the majority of PSA 10 comps I found from 2023. This A-Rod Rookie is a pop of 3042 and a PSA 10. Coming in at number 28 is this 1990 Leaf Frank Thomas Rookie, card number 300. This was a PSA 9, and it also sold for just short of $50. This price is up roughly $20 from what PSA 9s of this Leaf Rookie have been going for recently. A PSA 10 of this card currently goes for around $150 on average. Up next at number 27 is this 1995 Bowman's Best Blue Vladimir Guerrero Rookie, card number two. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $50.40. This price is within $10 of what PSA 9s of this rookie have been going for in 2023, while a PSA 10 of this card will set you back around $500. Coming in at number 26 is this 1996 Bowman's Best Ryan Sandberg, card number 8. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $55.20. Not too many comps to go off of for this card, but this price lines up with the last PSA 10 auction that took place back in March of 2022. Up next at number 25 is this 1995 Best Roy Holiday Rookie Auto, card number 125. This card was certified authentic by MBA and it sold for $64.80. I'm not sure what the print runs were on these, but this is a pretty rare card to find even in a graded slab. Coming in at number 24 is this 1994 score traded highest call up Alex Rodriguez rookie, card number HC1. This was an SGC9 and it sold for $74.40. This is the first SGC9 comp I could find of this card since 2018. The last PSA 10 of this Alex Rodriguez sold for $2,600 on eBay back in June of 2022. Coming in at number 23 is this 1990 Topps 89 Major League debut Ken Griffey Jr. card number 46. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $74.40. This price is right in line with the current average sell price of this card in a PSA 10. This second year Ken Griffey Jr. is a pop of 1,258 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 22 is this 1991 Topps Chipper Jones Rookie, card number 333. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $84 even. This is about what a PSA 10 of this rookie has been going for recently. 
This tops Chipper Jones rookie is a pop of 5,639 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 21 is this 1999 Topps Gold Label Class 1 Red Derek Jeter, card number 22. This was a BGS 9 and it sold for $93.20. Serial numbered out of 100, this is only the second ever comp of this card I could find in a BGS 9. Kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1993 Fleer Pro Cards Derek Jeter Auto, card number 893. This was a BGS Authentic Auto and it sold for $93.60. A pretty weak looking faded autograph really held this card back as there have not been many autograph copies to hit the market in the past and the last one sold for $481 back in late 2022. Up next at number 19 is this 1990 Topps Frank Thomas Rookie, card number 414. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for just short of $100. This is a pretty strong sell as PSA 10s of this rookie have been going for closer to $60 recently. This rookie is a pop of 3435 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 18 is this 1999 Bowman's Best Sammy Sosa Refractor, card number 66. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $103.20. Serial numbered out of 400, this is the new record auction price of this card in any grade by any grading company. Up next at number 17 is this 1994 Leaf Limited Phenoms Alex Rodriguez Rookie, card number 10. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $103.20. Serial numbered out of 5,000, this price is down as all the other PSA 9 comps I found from 2023 ranged between $176 and $300. Coming in at number 16 is this 1996 Select Certified Artist Proof Frank Thomas, card number one. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $108. This is the first ever comp I could find of this card in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 15, is this 1993 score Derek Jeter rookie, card number 489. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $126. This price is on the higher side of what PSA 10s of this card have been going for in 2023. This Jeter score rookie is a pop of 2096 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 14 is this 1996 Select Certified Mirror Red Alex Rodriguez, card number 6. This was an SGC 8 and it sold for $186. Serial numbered out of 90, this is the new record sell of this card in a SGC slab. The highest graded copy of this Mirror Red A-Rod was a PSA 10 that sold as an eBay Buy It Now for $500 back in early 2021. Up next at number 13 is this 1997 Flair Showcase Diamond Die Cut Derek Jeter, card number 13. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for just over $200. This price is right in line with the last PSA 10 auction sale that took place on eBay back in February of this year. Up 
Up next at number 12 is this 1999 EX Century Essential Credentials Future Jeff Bagwell, card number 15. This was a BGS 9 and it sold for $216. Serial numbered out of 106, this is the new record sale of this card in any grade by any grading company. A BGS 9.5 of this card previously sold for only $80 on eBay back in April of 2019. Coming in at number 11 is this 1998 Ultra Platinum Medallion Alex Rodriguez, card number 83P. This was an SGC 8 and it sold for $234. Serial numbered out of 100, this is only the second ever comp of this card I could find in an SGC 8 and this price is up $34 from that prior sale. The highest comp I could find for this Platinum Medallion was a PSA 9 and it sold for $700 on eBay back in January of 2022. Kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1990 score Frank Thomas Rookie Auto. This was a PSA DNA 10 and it sold for $264. This is a pretty strong sale as this is the highest autograded comp I could find of this rookie in 2023 and also the second comp to break the three figure mark as well. Without an autograph this score rookie currently goes for around $50 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 9 is this 1999 finest sterling Derek Jeter gold refractor card number 258. This was an SGC 9 and it sold for $288. Someone took a pretty big loss on this card as this exact SGC 9 sold for $669 on eBay back in February of 2022. Serial numbered out of 100, the last PSA 10 of this gold refractor sold for $840 back in October of last year. Coming in at number 8 is this 1993 Upper Deck Derek Jeter Rookie, card number 449. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $312. This price is right in line with the current average sell price of this card in a PSA 10. This Upper Deck Jeter Rookie is a pop of 815 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 7 is this 1993 Topps Derek Jeter Rookie, card number 98. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $324. This is about what this Jeter Rookie in a PSA 10 has been going for in 2023. This Topps Rookie is a pop of 3375 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 6 is this 1993 Topps Derek Jeter Rookie Auto, card number 98. This card was authenticated by Beckett and given a 9 grade for the auto, and it sold for $372. This price seems about right and is right in line with the last PSA DNA with a 9 grade out for the auto as well. Kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1992 Bowman Mariano Rivera Rookie, card number 302. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for just short of $500. This price is down as this first Bowman has been going for closer to $670 in a PSA 10 recently. This rookie is a pop of $1,540 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 4 is this 1991 Upper Deck Michael Jordan Rookie, card number SP1. 
This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $576. This was a very strong sell as PSA 10s of this Jordan have been going for closer to $450 recently. This Jordan baseball rookie is a pop of 2,190 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number three is this 1996 Finest Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor, card number 135. This was a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $600 even. This price is down as the only other BGS 9.5 comp I found since 2020 just sold for $1,170 back in February of this year. Up next at number two is this 1993 SP Foil Derek Jeter Rookie, card number 279. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $6,300. This was a pretty strong sell as this card has been going for closer to $5,600 in a PSA 9 recently. While this Jeter Rookie is a pop of 618 in a PSA 9, the population reports are still showing only a pop of 21 in a PSA 10. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1994 SP Foil Alex Rodriguez Rookie, card number 15. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $9,000 even. There were actually two PSA 10s of this SP Foil Rookie up for auction, and they both sold for nine grand. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.